Hey, how you doing? I'm Mad Jack, AKA the Banner Guy. Giddy up. Ninety-three. You know, I could tell you that's Clay Campbell or Kyle Vandenbosch, but actually, it's all about me. This is the year I became a season ticket holder. Nineteen ninety-three. In nineteen ninety-five, I'm at a game with my buddy Russ, and I'm looking at these banners, right? And it's bed sheets with duct tape and spray painted, and it was just—it was ridiculous. I said, Russ, what's up with these banners? He said, We'll make your own. So I did. So I've been doing the banners for nineteen years, and uh, about one hundred and seventy of them, each with a different message. You know, I have, I have generally two or three rules with the banner. I don't use any profanity. I typically don't honor any particular person or player. It's a, kind of a team thing. But most importantly, I need it to be motivational and positive. All those seasons at Sun Devil Stadium, it was pretty tough to come up with a message that was positive and motivational. For 15 years, I hung the banner at Sun Devil Stadium. And then they opened the new stadium, and one of the rules was no banners allowed. So I called the Cardinals, I said, hey, What's the deal? And they said, well, except for you, Mad Jack. It's awesome. So the first game, I bring the banner and it's hanging in there and a lot of other people hadn't gotten the message. They were bringing banners and security was taking them down. So when people ask, you know, why you? Because it's a tradition. And there's not a lot of tradition with the Cardinals. One of them, and the few ones that carried over from Sundell Stadium was the banner. I'm going with We Salute You. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a single line. The cool thing about that is I can make the letters quite a bit bigger. And the whole point is you can read it from across the stadium. Starting Sunday night, I post in the Bird Nest Forum uh, asking for suggestions from other fans. I get, you know, dozens of suggestions. A lot of them uh, don't work. <laughs> but I get some great ones as well. So about half the time, two thirds of the time, I pick another fan's suggestion. So on Saturday mornings, I come out here in the garage and I do the banner. It takes me about an hour. I'm a veteran myself and it has a lot of meaning to me and I've always loved what the NFL does for veterans. I roll it out on the great lawn. A lot of people come by. It's a tradition on the way into the stadium, they'll come by and they'll look at the banner. An hour before kickoff, the Cardinals crew comes out. And they roll up the banner, take it in through security, and they hang it in a pre-designated spot in the northeast corner club level. You know, I've done 170 of these banner messages with very few repeats. My favorite would have to be when I honored Pat Tillman. It was a true patriot. Corporal Pat Tillman, and it had number 40 on the bird head and a huge teardrop, so it was pretty cool. I was very proud of that one. Right behind that was Shock the World for the NFC Championship in 2008. So I'm sitting there with my wife Loretta and we're watching TV and they're doing an interview on Kurt Warner and he says, we need to go out there and shock the world. And she looked at me and said, that's it. That's the one, shock the world. Bad Jack puts those banners up and this one is right on the money. For many, many years it was tough being a Cardinal fan. I mean, I, they came and went, the bandwagon, was empty a lot of the time, it was tough. And I'm really, really proud of the banner tradition, the fact that it's the only one allowed in the stadium, the fact that it's a message, I speak for the fans, and it's a huge honor for the Cardinals to allow me to do it. 